Welcome back to Disabled and Prepping. And today in the mail, I got my reward for the farmland game in Timu. Uh, I did have to substitute one item, um, but it's okay. It was <laughs> I have plenty in my my uh, cart to um, eventually choose from. So. Well, you can't shop from your cart, but there's things in my cart that I knew that I could find in the list. So, starting off with the dishes, I got a set, um, four bowls, four cups, four small plates, and four bigger plates. So these are the cups. Um, they're, I would say, probably maybe eight ounces, maybe? Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. They looked a lot bigger on the place, on the site, but that's okay these will work. Um, I was looking for plastic um, or these are the wheat ones. Anything that I can't break. Because <laughs> sometimes um, at my old place, just before I moved, I was I made a bowl of ramen noodles. Thankfully it didn't have any of this uh, liquid in it. I don't make mine like the soup. And uh, my dystonia made me jerk and I threw my ramen noodles. So that was another reason why I have plastic, because uh, it can bounce and not break. So I got four of the cups, um, four of the bowls, this is the bowls. They're pretty good size. Uh, definitely um, a nice bowl of soup or nice for ramen noodles. I'm wearing black, so it's kind of hard when I put it against me. So um, yeah, it's a really... They don't say how big they are, but they are, um, it does have the symbol on it for freezing. It's so hard to see on the black. But anyways, um, I won't freeze them in them anyways, but I got them because they're not going to break. And so four of those, I'm not going to keep saying four, because uh, we all know it's four of everything. So these are the smaller plates. They do have a little, um lip two of them so which is nice because when I use paper plates <laughs> my cherry tomatoes sometimes roll off so they won't roll around on these um, it's kind of like frisbee type thing anyways it's made out of wheat which I find very interesting because um, it feels like plastic but uh, it is marked it recycling number five but it's they say it's wheat so I don't know if, if I'm kind of impressed by it <laughs> actually uh, that this is made from wheat and it seems to me like plastic but whatever and these are their plates so it's a nice size plate uh, um, again it's got the, the edge to it just like the smaller ones but and they are just like the smaller ones but they are bigger so that's going to be nice to have. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the mismatched stuff that I've ended up having over the time because I break things and then I, I don't really have a set of anything. So yeah, um, I, I've been trying to get sets of, of the like a plastic or melamine. I don't know sure if I pronounced that right. Anyways, um, I have four plates of that type, um, but uh, I found out they're not supposed to go in the microwave. <laughs> One of them started getting brown on the, on the bottom of it, so that wasn't a good idea. So I got that for the prize. I've been this this farmland. I've been playing for quite a while due to the price of a few of the items, but um, like I said, one of them had to be substituted by the time I got done. So. That's why it took a little longer because you play depending on, it takes depending on the, the items that you pick. So thankfully I ended up having to re-pick the plates set um, a few times. And uh, by the time I finally won it was still on there and not, not asking me to replace it. But the other item, which I can't even remember what it was right now, needed to be replaced. So. For that replacement, I picked up a sushi kit. So it's um, 
suppose I could pull it out because that crinkling is going to drive everybody nuts. So I should have done it beforehand. Anyway, so it comes with a rice paddle and a spreader. I think that's what they call it. Anyways, it comes with uh, a few sets of chopsticks and they have little uh, oriental designs on them, mostly people. Um, I like the metal ones better than these, um, only because after a while they kind of get gross, uh, even with cleaning. They have little grooves in the, let's see if I can, there, I can pull one out. Right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it has grooves in it. And I just, after a while, the, the bamboo just doesn't work very well. So I like the metal ones, but they didn't have that option. And I am really into, I love sushi. I love it. And it doesn't, it's not all raw fish. Um, sometimes it's uh, imitation crab or uh, vegetable stuff like that so um, obviously because I can't afford sushi grade fish um, mine are obviously gonna be not raw or anything but um, except for unless it's vegetables so then they have two sushi mats I think there's two yeah there's two sushi roll mats and again they're just bamboo I was <laughs> uh, they have a weird have a weird smell I don't know. So I was, I wanted the plastic, the silicone ones, but I, it wasn't available in the options I got afterwards. So we will try this. I do know a trick not to uh, mess these, uh, these up and you put it in a Ziploc, Ziploc bag or cover it with um, uh, saran wrap or something. That way um, you're not getting food in between there and stuff like that. So. Uh, at least that way I can keep it clean and a little bit more sanitary. Um, so anyways, I was preferring the green silicone mat that they have, but it wasn't a choice and I wanted to try starting to learn how to make the rolls. Um, so I picked that. Like I said, I also didn't need the chopsticks either, but it is what it is. So, and I'm good with it. it it's uh, going to give me practice on making sushi. I don't have any sticky rice, so, um, and that's probably something I'm not going to use, so I'm just going to use regular rice and see if that works. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that once, once it comes out of my rice cooker, it is kind of together until you fluff it a little bit, so I might be able to do it that way. So anyways, also I picked up, and I have another one eventually coming, uh, because these apartments, like most of you know already from my move-in, it gets really hot. And during the winter, if I remember correctly from being here before, I never had to turn on my heater because everybody around me had their set so high that I ended up, <clears throat> sorry. I ended up having to crack the window open just to regulate the heat, even with mine off. So, um, yeah, and so it gets really dry. So I got these, I got this humidifier. Um, it's called a Mars Mission humidifier. So this is the box that it came with. Obviously it was all smushed open, so that's why I took it out, because I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. And ins you can hear that in there. That's the power cord. I checked because I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. So uh, there's the little power cord. And of course, nothing comes with the little chargers anymore. And in my town, I found out that they have very few uh, plugs that do the USB to C. They are now going from C to C. So, you know, I don't know. Anyways, here's the reservoir that you put the water in, and this mists it, um, kind of just humidifies it. So that way, um, I remember I used to use like a pot of water or a cup of water and had to deal with that all the time. So I figured if I get two of these, I can keep one out in the fan room and then one in the bedroom. So I'm, if I need them, I have them around. 
So that's what I did and because I can't deal with dry air. Um, so I'm sorry, I was outside and I got all oh, today and I got my hair cut. Um, I'm recording a few videos and one at back to back. So um, if you see me in the same shirt and still like rubbing my face, it's because I still got a little hairs from the haircut and there's probably some by my ears because they always seem to get, they forget to uh, brush off or blow um, with the hair dryer off. So, sorry about that. But anyways, I, I, I do um, look forward to the fact that I'm going to have these this winter so it's not going to be as dry in here. Um, I will have, I, I won't have to deal with like cups of water or anything sitting around or putting water on the stove because I still have to check that um, to see if it's going to set off the smoke detector. Sometimes it's just the heat of the stove or the oven being used that will set off these smoke detectors in this building. Um, so even though there's no smoke and it's like not flame hot so <laughs> I don't understand how it why it does that but um, if it does I won't be able to use it which is okay because I have the Instapot and the uh, air fryer and, and little other doodads that I can use here because I can use electricity so I'm so happy about that um, so yeah uh, I got a new set of dishes um, I can start working on some making some some different types of sushi which I'm excited about so all right, everybody, have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, depending on when you watch this. And may God bless each and every one of you to overflowing. And may he keep you... <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Uh, may he keep you, your friends, and family safe. Bye for now, and we'll see you next time.